Hello, um, my name is David Dunning and I'm presenting at the Association for Strategic Planning's May Conference. Uh, the theme of that is strategy in a right now world. And I'm presenting strategy delivery, somehow the magic happens. So what does this theme mean to me? Well, our businesses face constantly changing opportunities, threats, imperatives and goals. And we pay for great staff to generate ideas for what we can do with greater value. And of course, how we can do it better. But there are so many influences and options. We understand the need for agility and innovation. But thinking of agility, have you ever seen the twisting and turning of the jet fighters at those sh air shows in the summer? Power of the engine, the sleekness of the airframe, the brain of the pilot. But what we can't see is the staggering number of sensors and information processing that's happening to enable uh, the aircraft to stay in the air. Um, but we can't see that. Um, and if it's not happening fast and in real time, the aircraft's going to fall out of the sky. So it has to be uh, right now, uh, else we get a mangled aeroplane. Our organisations aren't quite so sharp and precise as an aircraft, uh, but how can we expect a stre effective strategy and delivery uh, and back again if we don't have the appropriate ecosystem with the sensors and controls to make it happen and to do it fast enough in our right now world? At a recent conference, it was agreed that we all too often sprinkle governance and assurance on, on top of our organisations, like we might sprinkle chocolate chips on top of a cake. We don't really um, bake them through. Um, my view is we need to bake them through to enable us to be more agile and to be delivering strategy more effectively. My response to strategy in a right now world is to get us to think of strategy delivery more closely and to not expect magic to somehow happen. What do I mean by that? Well, success, successful organizations are led by smart, creative people who can listen, evaluate, imagine, lead, etc. The details are left to managers who can translate the ask into a go-do, right? Maybe. Um, when the go-do fits within their individual domains, we can expect results. I mean, we offer them bonuses and for the targets that we set. But when our transformational changes go across business domains, when value stream development and delivery involves several areas, how do we integrate and performance manage and make objective priority calls to make those things happen? Do we have the objectivity of assurance, the support of governance professionals and the reliable information sources we need for agile decision making. Well, we should have line of business systems, integration capability, data platforms, and information management capability have really matured in the last five years. We know what innovation and agility look like. And with the release of ISO 37000 and the business integrated governance framework, the know-how is available or public. So I'm gonna speak about known pains around strategy delivery, outline modern technology capability, introduce public domain thinking and align strategy to governance, and explain how to get improvement initiatives off grounds that until now perhaps may have seemed too stony to set a solid foundation. The agenda is quite simple. We'll briefly compare and contrast some organisations' approach to strategy formulation as perhaps a five-year fire and forget process as opposed to an ongoing process. We'll talk about strategy formulation, about how it needs to be top-down and bottom-up. We'll discuss whether strategy delivery is isolated as a programme or integrated with other businesses' usual priorities, value generation, local innovation and risk response. We'll play back to you some public domain and, and recently captured 
anecdotes and, and evidence as to what the problems actually are. We'll introduce ISO 37000 as a source for excellent principles and a source of the bit and introduce the business integrated governance model as a source of uh, an approach to connect principles to practice. And we'll offer you a journey, an approach to take to your business, to pull together people with similar problems and to start the journey together. It might feel a little strange to have the conclusions for a presentation uh, explained up front uh, to persuade you to, to listen to it, but I think it's important that, that you know where we're going in the session. We'll discuss that strategy management is continuous, not one-off. We'll offer you evidence that it's not done very well and maybe to support you in helping your business understand how good yours is. We'll discuss the, uh, the fact that strategy delivery isn't just about delivery. We have to get the formulation right uh, before it can happen. We'll talk about the need to balance strategy delivery with all other workloads that we have. We'll introduce ISO 37000 and BIG as some frameworks with which we can make change. We'll talk about the importance of information and data. Our businesses may, may use information and data all over the operation, but perhaps they don't do it quite so much um, in and around governance. We'll talk about the need to keep run and change close together, although they're very different. Um, they use the same people, resources and funds more often than not. And um, we'll conclude that um, it is possible to overcome inertia with the right approach to, to um, building a foundation for change. And we can help your organization uh, avoid strategy failure to do more than succeed and in fact, if we do things the right way, to help it fly.